Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to Vince Vlog. And today we're going to talk about how to do a vibration test to our uh, generator. So let's prepare our things to this test. So let's go. So here is our vibration meter. This is Monitron. This is Monitron vibration meter. And for the calibration for this one is we're going to put it at 5 kilohertz and it should be the set point of RMS. Okay? And <coughs> it should be in the V. So this is V, so this is millimeter per second so this is our set points and the range is one so so this is the arrow so this is our set points for our testing for the vibrations so <coughs> this is our vibration sensor so this is the one uh, there is some electronic inside this one so this one have even either mechanical or electronics uh, sensor inside which convert the voltage and this meter will the one analyze the voltage and convert into uh, the value of millimeter per second so this is uh, the result is here so you can see it here that is the value so so now <coughs> we're just going to connect this one from here so this is the connections so I'm going to off first because of our battery is uh, working so just connect this one from here and that's it as you can see the parameters and the set points is just follow like that if you have the same meter then just follow like that and this is our magnetic base and this is our stinger probe okay but if you're using this one you just only use by hands for example <coughs> I will connect this one so this is now the positions for our stringer probe for example if you want to test using this one you just use by hands and do like this <coughs> but during the testing now I'm using the magnetic base so I'm using this one so it's easy for you to uh, attach to the body because during our testing uh, we need our points to do the measurements by the way this meter guys is already uh, always calibrated this is calibrated the date of 28-01-2021 its expiry date is 27-01-2022 so it's still not expired guys so it is it's good conditions okay so so now I use the magnetic base for our uh, testing so <coughs> What are the points are going to measure this as a one set of a generator? So in the standard, we have uh, the vertical and the horizontal. So and also the auctions. So the auctions should be uh, nearest to your bearing. So since in the mid point or in the middle. So this is our bearing. So should be the measurements you have to put here for your auctions to read the vibrations okay so guys we're just only follow our maps in order to measure our vibration tests in our generator so that is 19 points so <clears throat> as you can see in the maps i show you that will be the points we're going to do so let's start our generator and this is uh, running at 50 hertz okay so let's go and start our generator so you can see actual 
reading to our vibration meter so i will show you also where the maps we can uh, do our testing so this is uh, where you can find the vibration measurement map so for example this is the whole set of our generator so we have here as you can see there is some <coughs> mapping so it's easy for you to identify where you were going to put the sensor so in order to measure that so i just show you that okay so in this point we are going to follow this method in order to achieve our uh, vibration measurement so anyway here this is our chart where we can follow for our vibration t testing so here we have the engine front foot and engine rear foot alternator foot bank and the rest of this is we need to measure that so this is our pattern for that so let's start so let's start now our generator and let's see what is the corresponding value or the measurement of our uh, vibration meter so I show you already the maps where we can point our measurements so I will just one by one do that and I will show you the corresponding measurement or the millimeter per second value of our tests and I will show you and I tell you if this one is passed or not because in the maximum I will show you also the passing uh, vibration tests for our generator. So let's start our generator.
So how important is vibration tests to our generator and what's the reasons behind this? So you know if we're doing the vibration tests this is the reason where you can uh, early predict the failure of your uh, engine or your generator so for example of our frequent fault is bearing misalignment and balance and loosiness of our like mounting bolts and everything that is the common failure for that so you can easily identify and easily rectify this kind of fault so by the way guys that is how the way we are doing our standard here we're doing our vibration tests for every each of our generator and you see what is the reading or the measurement we did for our vibration tests so hopefully it is all still in the passing area because it should be <coughs> from the big generator it's the maximum uh, passing rate should be like around 1.80 uh, MMS per second so uh, that is the <coughs> passing rate for our uh, generator vibration tests so as you can see the reading is not above it's like point something only so that is roughly uh, in a good condition so that is still passing so that is good uh, for our tests that we make it past so by the way guys thank you and we are done for our vlogs today and once again thank you thank you for watching and Vince vlog is here see you again in my next vlog bye bye